What's up guys, today we'll be going over one of the craziest combos ever in the history of Destiny. And this has been around for quite a while now, I just haven't gotten around to making a video. So I want to put numbers to this combo and actually break down how good it is. So part of this combo is going to be one 2 punch either on Emperor's Courtesy, the new created raid shotgun, or last main standing from Season of the Drifter that also can have one 2 punch. The next part of this combo will be combination blow on top tree arc strider, where melee kills stack the buff up to times 3. Then the final part will be Liar's Handshake, an exotic for a hunter that procs counter punch when you use your arc melee ability or get hit by an enemy melee attack. And that will then buff your melee damage then also heal you on hit. So there's a few things going on in this combo. So let's go ahead and break down each individual part one at a time. So first one to punch on the shotgun. So a normal melee hits 1197 on Greg. Now with one two punch, it does 3591, which is three times damage. So one two punch is three X melee damage. Next up will be combination blow on arc strider, which increases your melee damage and stacks up to three times. And with that and gambler's dodge, where dodging your enemy refills your melee energy, then also melee kills recharge your dodge ability on combat flow. You can get this very, very quickly by just getting a melee final blow, dodging, get your melee back, and do that over and over again. So it's very easy to do. And combination blow lasts for 20 seconds. And as you see, it hits 4903 on the ogre with times 3, which is 4.1x damage. And the final part will be a liar's handshake with cross counter. So once again, go see what that does on Greg. And it hits 3591, which is the same as 1 2 punch, which is a 3x buff to your melee damage. So, with all the buffs stacking in this game, we should result in a 36.9x to our melee damage, which should result in 44,127 total damage per melee with all three of these buffs proc at the same time. So, let's go ahead and try it. First, getting combination blow up to times three, then going up to the ogre and letting him hit me to proc cross counter then after that shooting with one two punch to proc one two punch and now i hit 44,119 damage per melee on the ogre which is absurd now before we start breaking down numbers there's a few other things we need to figure out first the shotgun hits 4,020 per shot on the ogre then the shotgun allows you to get two one two punch melees off per shot if you go quick enough so first is testing shooting then punching one at a time so five total combos of that that takes 5.733 seconds, meaning the DPS with combination blow and one two punch is 16,334. And if you can get cross counter on all of your hits, it will then be 41,984 DPS, which is absurd. Now moving on to doing two punches per shot, which you can do with the shotgun on Hunter. So one shot, then two melees to do that five times. See how long that takes. It's gonna take quite a bit longer because you're doing double the melees now. And that takes 10.7 seconds, meaning DPS now doing two punches per shot without cross counter is 15,638, which is slightly lower than before. Then if you do have cross counter, it's gonna be 43,111, which is even higher than it was before. So if you have all three buffs, it's worthwhile for DPS to do two melees at a time. The shotgun can hold 15 bullets with no reserves. So looking at the total damage output of these combinations, once again, without cross counter, it's 281,000. Then with cross counter on every hit, it's 722,000. Then with two punches in between every shot, as you see, here are the numbers. And with cross counter, it's 1.383 million total damage, which is absurd. It's worth mentioning that you can do everything I just said with last man standing with one, two punch. So once again, this shotgun now holds 20. Now looking at the damage on Greg to see the difference, it now hits 4632, so slightly more per shot. Then once again with a shotgun, you can get two one-two punch melees off per shot. And since most of the DPS of this combo is with the melee, I'm not going to look at that again because it will barely change. But here is the total damage output, which greatly changes with the shotgun because you have five more bullets compared to the previous shotgun. So that obviously raises the total damage output greatly. And doing the double melee with all three buffs results in almost two million total damage output over the entire reserves of this weapon, which is like out of this world crazy and not only does this combo produce really good numbers combination blow heals you on kill then also liar's handshake restores your health instantly whenever you hit something with cross counter proct so not only does this combo produce really good numbers it's very easy to play aggressively with it and keep all the buffs proct at the same time between the 20 seconds of combination blow being able to dodge to refill your melee meleeing something to get your dodge back then proccing cross counter on arc melee hit or whenever something hits you it's actually very, very simple to keep this buff up at all times. The last clip you'll see in this video is the Glimmer Extraction public event, which lasts almost four to five minutes and I cut it up so it's not the entire lane, but I have cross counter proc the entire four minutes of that public event, which is pretty absurd and just speaks to how easy it is to actually keep this combo up at all times. The only issue you will run into while trying to keep this perk up is if you have people in your instance or people on your team that are still in kills. 
and you try to dodge, then there's nothing around, so you don't get your melee, or you you know there's not enough things around to proc your melee. So this combo definitely works solo or with people that will allow you to proc it. But if you're playing with people that are just shredding through ads, like the second they see them, like with Huckleberry or something like that, it can make it annoying and a little bit harder to keep it proc. But for the most part, like I said, it's very, very simple and easy. So let's just talk about the numbers that this combo produces. So with Outlier's Handshake, it was around 16,000, right? And that's very doable pretty much anywhere in the game. And that's right up there with like Swarm of the Raven with Spike Grenades. Then if you have Liar's Handshake on top of it with Cross Counter, it goes to like 41 to 43,000, depending on if you're doing double melees or not. And that is like three times higher than anything else in the game in terms of DPS. And realistically, you won't reach that number too often in the game because having Cross Counter on every melee is not very easy to do. So more than likely, your sustained damage will be somewhere in the middle, probably in like the 25 to 30,000 range because you will only have Cross Counter maybe every other melee or every two of three melees. But at the same time, if you have all three buffs proc at the same time, there's not too many things in the game that will survive more than two melees. So in reality, you're probably going to be doing that 43,000 DPS if you do proc all three at the same time. By the second melee, they're already dead, which is kind of crazy to think. So the DPS is among the highest in the game. Then the total damage output is like way higher than anything else in the game. Like if you pick five or six power weapons, just blindly close your eyes and pick five or six power weapons in the game. If you add up all their total damage output together, it will not even get close to the total damage output of all three buffs on this combo. Like the total damage you can do with this combo is so much higher than anything else in the game. It's like, it's not even close. So this combo has really good DPS with cross counter, the highest in the game. Then it has pretty much unmatched total damage output. Also the combo is very easy to keep up at all times because of the 20 seconds you get with Combination Blow, the ability to have your melee and dodge pretty much forever. So that is very easy to keep up. Then also on top of that, it rewards you for playing aggressively by giving you health back with Combination Blow and Lars Handshake. So everything in this combo just works perfectly together and results in like a really, really fun experience and also a very effective experience. Anyways, I think that's all I want to say about this combo. It's been around for several months now. I just haven't got around to breaking down the numbers yet. So I'm happy I finally got around to doing it and realizing like how crazy this combo actually is. And I can see myself playing Hunter more once I get Lyra's Handshake. Anyways, the rest of the video will just be one punching some of like the Pug Event bosses or two punching them. Then also the last Pug Event gameplay will be just showing off how easy it is to keep Combination Blood proc to like four minutes straight. Anyways, let me know if you've been using this combo or if you're going to use it in the future. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.